In this day of reality TV, people gorge themselves on it. We live to see people put themselves through test and trial in order to survive. We have had many movies where people have been forced into situations and have to participate in a game in order to survive. Escape Room, The Hunger Games, The Running Man, Fermat's Room, Battle Royale. There hasn't been anything like this and it happened when Big Brother was just Orwellian literature. Presenting Vincenzo Natale's Cube. A group of people of different ages, backgrounds and areas of expertise awaken in a giant cubicle maze where they have to work together and negotiate their way through the, the tricks and traps to find the exit. Serial numbers? Room numbers. They're different in each room. Oh, great. Well, there's only uh, 566,400,000 odd rooms in this thing. Well, there better not be. We have about three days without food and water before we're too weak to move. Now, on the face of that, it reads like another Saw movie. But this came out years before James Wan's original movie. Shot in 20 days on a very small budget, the result was staggering and well executed. Cuba spawned a sequel, a prequel, an abandoned America remake, and a Japanese remake that was slated by COVID-19. But at the time of writing, I understand that it will be released later this month. The reactions were favorable and based on its budget received a modest return from the box office. Around the world it won several awards. Uh, in terms of science fiction, again it proves you don't need a Star Wars size budget in order to make something that will last.